going on, Giants fans? I'm John of Pain Sports, and today we got some defensive coordinators that were interviewed, so we're going to touch on each of them, you know, get my thoughts on that. But first, I read an article that Joe Shane kind of stole an important guy from the Eagles front office. Shane names Brandon Brown, the assistant GM of the New York Giants. There isn't much information on Mr. Brown. All I really know is his official title with the Philadelphia Eagles was director of personnel. Um, I guess he was a guy who has been kind of flying up the ranks over there. And recently he started dabbling in some scouting of college prospects. So his scouting role was being expanded. That's a good sign. You know, he must have been grading well in their system. Maybe we got a steal. You know, remember he knows all the young scouts over there as well in Philadelphia. You know, we could see a bunch of... Uh, bunch of them guys coming over here possibly next year you know when some of these old stale giant scouts start getting their walking papers so i actually can make a definitive statement that i like this hire one, one of them actually one of the times i've actually been able to come out and just say it <laughs> so bring as many front office guys from other organizations as possible so i'm happy with brandon brown as assistant gm well, let's talk about what i really want to talk about and that's these defensive coordinator candidates now, the most recent candidate I've heard of is Sean Desai. He was a defense coordinator for the Chicago Bears last year, and I think he did a pretty good job over there with what he had. You know, I'm intrigued by Sean Desai. He's another guy that's a bit of a mystery. You know, we don't know much. We only saw one year of that defense coordinator, I believe. And he does have a decent bit of experience. You know, he was a position coach under Big Fangio and Chuck Pagano, so I think he's qualified. And if he's the guy, Maybe a little green behind the gills, but hey, you know, when Patrick Graham came over here, he was a one-year defensive coordinator too. Believe it or not, Graham had lost like his rights to call the plays, so who knows? Maybe he'd be a hit. Um, the other guy that got an interview was Wink Martindale, who seems to be like most Giants' favorite here at this point. You know, he's definitely qualified, I'll say that. I won't be throwing stuff at my TV if he's the next defensive coordinator. I do have worries with him though, like, the Giants currently do better kind of in that cover three, cover two robber defenses. And historically, Wink has really been heavy on that, you know, cover zero blitz stuff. Pretty much as, you know, heavy blitz as any other defensive coordinator in the NFL. Uh, so I'm just a bit worried that Giants don't have a personnel to run what he wants. Can he change his scheme to adapt to the roster? I don't know. I mean, it's a question that I have. I'm not sure if it's a fair one, to be honest with you. Like... Last time we had a defensive mind like him, we hired James Betcher, and it just it didn't go, it just went poorly. And, you know, we could never get the players he needed to run his system. And honestly, this year, we really don't have the resources to allocate, you know, changing an entire defensive scheme. I think the Giants are going to invest heavy in the O-line, tight end, entire offense this offseason. It feels like if Wink is the coach, he might have to take it. We might have to, like, take a complete step back next season to build more long term in the future which if that's what joe shane want and brian dable then i'm on board with it but i just wanted to try and build off last season's progress that we saw from the defense i get it this probably isn't a popular take but you know i can't come out here and lie to y'all i mean what would that say about me but between wink martindale and sean desai to say however you pronounce it I think I'd probably choose to say, you know, I could be wrong here. I'm not a GM, and 10 years ago, I'd be pounding the table for a guy like Wink. But after Betcher and kind of seeing how well Graham did, you know, with mixing in coverages, my views have kind of evolved over time. I think, hey, if you want to be super aggressive on like third and longs, that's cool. But I think for the most part, with the way the quarterbacks and the passing is nowadays, you have to really mix in a lot of them coverages up. So. Uh, there is one more candidate that would be Jim Schwartz, who I would not mind. Like, I'll say that right to start. He has a ton of coaching experience. He might be overqualified to be a defensive coordinator, honestly. He's been a defensive coordinator since 2001 with the Tennessee Titans. He was a head coach for four years. And I, I, think, he won a, I think he won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. I think he was a defensive coordinator, if my memory is right. So I looked it up. 32 years of coaching experience. Yes. Give me that guy. I've, I've been crying all offseason for any kind of just at least get one person here with an extreme amount of experience. That way, somebody's got 
you know, Brian Dable's got somebody he can walk up to and have a private conversation and maybe say, here, here's a situation I'm having. I'm struggling. Can you help me? You know, just a shoulder he can lean on in here. My name is with Jim Schwartz. I mean, there's nothing he hasn't seen as a defensive coordinator. He's not a huge scheme guy as well. So Schwartz is my favorite, probably. Then I like that Sean Desai and then Wink Martindale last. I think all three are qualified coaches with plenty of experience. Who's the best man for the job? I don't know. I mean, I have preferences. As soon as one of them is hired, my preferences means jack shit. You know, I'm a guy on my couch. I I'm not gonna hold a grudge because the Giants don't hire the guy that I don't want or whichever not that I don't want, just not my favorite. Whoever it is, I'm gonna support them, any organization, and whoever it is, isn't gonna have a shorter leash with me than any of these other guys. And I'll tell you what, at least with these defensive coaches, like we kind of have a little bit better of an idea of what they're gonna be. Like Mike Kafka and everybody in the offense is complete mystery. So overall, I'm, in, I'm very interested in this. I think whatever happens, we're gonna get a good defensive coordinator and we'll see how it works here. My kind of, Hype dream of building on the defense and seeing it actually progress a little bit and improve a little bit is probably what I just said, a pipe dream, but it's ultimately what I really wanted, you know, when the season ended and Joe Judge was fired, is just keep building, get better, add to the foundation. But that's it. Probably in the next day or two, one of these guys will be announced head coach. Maybe by the time I release this video, somebody will be announced head coach. Or defensive coordinator. I'm an idiot, guys. I'm sorry. I'm tired, and I've been working on these videos for way too long. Anyways, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments which one of these coaches you prefer, and possibly why. Why you don't like my attitude towards Wink Martindale. I don't think it's an attitude, but my slight negative tone, you could say. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, and peace.